Hello everyone, Nate from Grover's House here. Today we have a special test for you that we've been antsy to run for a few months now. Our 1000 watt digital ballast comparison review with PAR readings over a 4 foot by 4 foot grow footprint. For this ballast review we tested 10 of the most popular ballasts in the industry including 9 digital ballasts and 1 magnetic ballast for comparison between the digital and magnetics. The ballast used in this test were the Solistec LCD Matrix 1000 watt the Lumatech air-cooled 1000 watt ballast, the Lumatech non-air-cooled 1000 watt ballast, the Phantom 1000 watt from Hydrofarm, the Quantum 1000 watt, the Raider EP ballast from Dome Garden Supplies, the Galaxy Select a watt from Sunlight Supply, and the Nano Extreme ballast, which came from R&M Supply, and the Lucius Maximus, another uh, ballast from Dome Garden Supplies. And the one magnetic ballast used in this test was the 1000 watt SG Lite, which is a hardcore style ballast um, made by Hydrofarm, but is also provided from Sunlight Supply, R&M, and most other hydroponic suppliers. So after completing our 1000 watt bulb comparison test with PAR results, we decided to use the reigning champion 1000 watt Hortilux Enhanced HPS bulb for this test. Um, the reflector we used was the Manta Ray 6 inch reflector from uh, Dome Garden Supplies. Now we hung this reflector 24 inches above the 4x4 four four footprint and took 11 measurements in total including the center, the 2 foot square, and the 4 foot square. And before taking these measurements we let the bulb warm up for 30 minutes and then let it cool down for 20 minutes before each restrike. Now the Hortilux bulb used in this test was new but we ran it for 5 hours before starting our test. Hortilux mentioned that their bulb has a 100 hour seasoning period before it completely stabilizes, although it should be very similar when first lit to what it will be giving off around the 100 hour mark. We'll repeat this test after we run the bulb for 100 hours because we want to see how the results differ, if at all. Of course, we'll post another infographic with those readings in the coming weeks. So it looks like the clear winner in this test was the Solistec 1000 watt matrix digital ballast. That said, the difference in PAR readings was not drastic between all the digital ballasts. The best digital ballast, which was the Solistec, gave about 10% higher reading than the worst digital ballast, which was the Lucius Maximus. Now the Solistec did have a good size lead on its competitors, um, giving readings about 4% higher than the next best ballast, which was the Lumatech air cooled 1000 watt. But what was most surprising for us was the difference between the magnetic hardcore style ballast we tested versus all the digital ballasts. The Solistec put out PAR readings about 39% higher than the 1000 watt magnetic hardcore ballast. So that is a very, very big difference. One last note we'd like to make about the PAR readings. Um, PAR, or photosynthetically, photosynthetically active radiation, measures the spectrum between about 400 to 700 nanometers of light color wavelengths. This range encompasses blues and reds, which are the primary colors plants use to photosynthesize. Many plants also use a few spectrums outside of this range though, such as UV spectrums. This, me this meter does not measure those spectrums. So what you really need is a spectral radiometer to measure all the spectrums a light gives off. But uh, one of those machines costs about $4,000. Um, so using this PAR meter is better than using a lumens or a lux meter, which only measures light intensity regardless of the spectrum put off. So some of these ballasts do have super lumens and overboost features, but we did not use them in this test. Every ballast was switched to the 1000 watt setting. But don't fret, we will conduct another test um, with just the ballasts that have the overdrive or overboost features and post those soon. So, as you can see, every variable has been held constant except for the ballast in this test. So, to see the rest of the PAR readings, click on the link in the video description and uh, that will also lead to our visual infographic of the digital 1000 watt ballast tested. And of course, if there's anything you'd like us to test, please email us or write down your suggestions in the comments. We read all of them. That is it for today. Till next test, this is Nate from Grower's House.